Yo, what is cracking, my lords and ladies? Welcome back to another Elden Ring guide. This is in the Shadows of the Earth Tree, our second guide. We did the Milady. Check that video out if you haven't already. But yeah, I'm going to teach you guys how to get the Great Katana in this video. And this is a weapon all to its own class. This is the Great Katana class. Pretty cool. It does come with the overhead stance weapon art. So you do have a bit of action with the heavy R2 and the light L1. It has a pretty cool moveset. Um, but yeah, let me teach you guys how to get it. So we are here at the Great Bridge North, right next to the abandoned Ailing Village. From the start of the DLC, way back down in the Gravesite Plain, if you just make your way directly north, and then from the Rundown Traveler's Rest, and the Elec Bridge, Elec Great Bridge, my bad, you make your way over here to the Great Bridge North Grace, we can actually go ahead and go directly to the left to go and grab it. Now the great sword you don't need to do any fighting for but you guys might see right here there is a big intimidating scary ghost flame dragon don't worry you don't have to fight or kill him just right here on this here corpse is the great katana and there you guys go um we're gonna get out of here actually before he gets angry at us but yeah super cool it does upgrade with smithing stones though so you don't have to worry too too much because the dlc's got you covered there's tons of upgrade materials but this katana is just so awesome. You guys might remember the Guts Great Sword video we made a while back. Well, oh man. Thought a Great Sword was cool. Wait until you see the Great Katana. But there you guys go. That is how to get the Great Katana in Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe to the notification bell for more Elden Ring content. And check out the playlist on your way out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And peace.